okay, we have more news coming out about Peter Nygaard, the absolute freak. Um, Peter Nygaard, sexual assault case to return to Montreal courtroom in July. Uh, his, um, his case had been delayed. His trial had been delayed for a while. For people who are unfamiliar with Peter Nygaard and the disturbing allegations against him, we will be going into some of that, and I will include all the links in the uh, video description below. Um, just uh, really gross stuff, okay? And just look at the man. I mean, my God. Canadian fashion mogul Peter Nygaard's SA and forcible confinement case in Quebec will return to a Montreal courtroom July 8. Nygaard remains detained in Toronto and did not appear during a brief hearing before a judge at the Montreal courthouse Wednesday. Lawrence Juliet, a lawyer for Nygaard, asked for the delay while her client's other pending sex crimes cases move through the courts. Nygaard faces one count of SA and one count of forcible confinement in Quebec. The crimes, which involve the same person, allegedly took place between November 1, 1997 and November 15, 1998. He is also facing six counts of SA and three counts of forcible confinement in Toronto in connection with alleged incidents dating back to the late 1980s and mid-2000s. Authorities in the United States have asked for him to be extradited to, uh, to face sex-related charges in America. So for people who are unfamiliar with Peter Nygaard, I want to bring up this thread uh, by Big Fish, that is uh, at Trey Billion on Twitter, a good person to follow for things related to Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Gates, Peter Nygaard, um, predators, shall we say. <laughs> Um, millionaire fashion executive Peter Nygaard is accused of aring 10 women at a Bahamas compound where he once hosted Prince Andrew after quote unquote plying them with drink and drugs at a quote unquote pamper party. SAs went on for decades and the girls were as young as 14. There is a link to an article from the Daily Mail. Prince Andrew's links to Tycoon and new SA scandal. Millionaire fashion executive Peter Nygaard is accused of aring women after plying them with drinks and drugs. Very disturbing allegations. Canadian clothing tycoon billionaire Peter Nygaard, 77, has been accused of luring at least 10 young teenagers to his mansion in the Bahamas under the guise that he would help them with their modeling careers. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein did the same thing with women, telling them he would help them get work at Victoria's Secret, as he was very good friends with Leslie Wexner. And it's interesting how Wexner, who financed Epstein, has not been charged as a co-conspirator. At least not yet but I am not holding my breath. A lawsuit filed in the Southern District of New York claimed that Nygaard plied his subjects with alcohol and drugs before they were violently essayed, ard, and sodomized. The case could prove embarrassing for Prince Andrew, who once stayed at Nygaard's mansion, linking him to another high-profile billionaire accused of essaying young women. The Duke of York has already faced intense scrutiny for his relationship with uh, pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. In the latest case, the teenagers have launched a class action lawsuit in Manhattan Federal Court, claiming to have been part of what is essentially a sex trafficking ring. The suit alleges that girls would be entertained at so-called pamper parties, where Nygaard would have bartenders at his Mayan-themed vacation home spike their drinks with the date-rape drug known as Rohypnol. Nygaard's staff were instructed to find young women for the weekly parties, the lawsuit claims. As guests arrived and checked in, their details would be placed into a database with the photographs sent to to Nygaard to look over. Yes, he created a database of some 7,500 young girls. Nygaard would then use this information to select his potential victims for the night, the suit states. The lawsuit details how one of the victims, who was 15 years old at the time, had been taken to Lyford K, 
Nygaard's estate, which was once featured on the TV show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. During the evening, Nygaard allegedly tried to anally sodomize her before aring her and then asking her to defecate and urinate in his mouth in a bizarre sexual fetish known as coprophilia. The filing states, quote, Nygaard offered her $5,000 prior to aring her and later offered her $10,000 to defecate in his mouth, unquote. Another of complaints tells how her encounter with Nygaard began with him showing her pornography. Nygaard then asked her to use a sex toy on him, and when it ended, he aired her, causing her extraordinary trauma and pain. This is, of course, the Mayan-style property that Nygaard owned in the Bahamas. This horrific episode is just one of many like it, detailed in the complaint against Nygaard and his business entities by 10 brave women, states a press release about the lawsuit. The class action lawsuit accuses Nygaard of sex, tra sex trafficking in R, all financed and facilitated by his family of corporations and their employees. Yeah, uh, by the way, guys, he had to have a team of people helping to facilitate this. There are co-conspirators. Nygaard did not act alone. Ten women in total, now aged between 18 to 36, have detailed their alleged encounters. Nine of the women are from the Bahamas, while one is from the U.S., although none have had their names revealed in the suit. Three of the women were 14 years old at the time of the alleged R's, which took place between 2008 and 2015, while three others were 15, all appear to share commonalities. Usually, the women would be invited to Nygaard's home, where offers of drinks or drugs would be made. What follows would be a suggestion to head to a hot tub or bedroom where an R would then occur. While Nygaard has been accused of sexual misconduct in R in the past, these new complaints go further in alleging that he was able to escape punishment by resorting to violence, intimidation, bribery and payoffs to silence his alleged victims, according to the suit. While suspicions were raised by local authorities in the Bahamas, it is alleged Nygaard would get away with such behavior by offering everyone from cops to government officials bribes for them to turn a blind eye. It also alleges Nygaard initiated a scheme to purchase police protection and political cover in the Bahamas by making regular payments of tens of thousands of dollars to law enforcement, government officials, regulators, and even to a former cabinet minister who became the prime minister of the Bahamas. The suit goes on to state how Nygaard employed a network of company employees under his direction who would lure victims to his place, especially young, vulnerable, and impoverished Bahamian women, the suit alleges. It further claims Nygaard also paid people using Nygaard company money to intimidate his former quote-unquote girlfriends by slashing their tires, committing arson, paying police to threaten to arrest them, and by having them followed. The Nygaard companies fund all of Nygaard's pamper parties by transferring cash from the company bank account in Canada and routing it through New York, the lawsuit says, making it in fact an international criminal conspiracy. Nygaard's destruction of imminent li of innocent lives is immeasurable, it declares. When Nygaard became aware of the investigation into his sex trafficking ring, he resorted to tactics of violence, intimidation, bribery, and payoffs to attempt to silence the victims and continue his scheme. Nygaard, who, according to the filing, is worth approximately $900 million, owns homes in New York, California, and Florida. The suit alleges women were moved around between the properties by private jet, oh, just like Jeffrey Epstein, and that Nygaard broke U.S. laws under the Trafficking Victims Protection Act in the process. The filing asks for the Manhattan court to provide, uh, prohibit Nygaard from engaging in unlawful acts and for damages and an amount to be determined at trial. The facts detailed in the complaint come from years of investigation. After hearing these tragic stories, we were compelled to act, said Greg Gutzler, a New York lawyer. 
We know many others were afraid to come forward initially and hope that this lawsuit will pave the way for them to also seek justice. The facts in this case represent the tip of an iceberg in an international sex trafficking ring that ends today. Although there is a 10-year statute of limitations for cases such as this under New York law, the lawsuit requests the scope be extended because the complainants were impeded by a combination of for, uh, force, threats of force, shame, embarrassment, fear, political and law enforcement corruption, weak laws that are rarely enforced to protect the victim and bribery. A spokesperson for Nygaard told the New York Post that the, that the lawsuit was the latest in a 10-year string of attempts to destroy the reputation of a man through false statements. The allegations are completely false without foundation and are vigorously denied, Ken Friedman said in a statement. Nygaard looks forward to fully exposing this scam and once and all and for all clearing his name. Jay Prober, a lawyer in Winnipeg representing Nygaard, told the Globe and Mail the accusations in the lawsuit were false. Nygaard has had a home in the peninsula in the Bahamian capital Nassau since the 1980s. The self-styled playboy and eccentric owner of Nygaard International has an estimated fortune just shy of $1 billion, and has lived in the exclusive Lyford K community on the island since 1987. His famous 150,000 square foot beachfront mansion dubbed Nygaard K is designed in the style of a Mayan temple, <coughs> creepy, and features a 32,000 square foot grand hall interesting. Prince Andrew is believed to have stopped over at the sprawling Mayan-style property that includes 12 themed cabanas, an aquarium, helipad, and casino with his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson around June 2000, although there is no evidence to suggest the prince knew anything about Nygaard's alleged activities. Oh please, birds of a feather flock together. The eighth in line to the throne was one of many famous names, including Michael Jackson and former President George H.W. Bush, that came to the home of the designer, who has been described as the Hugh Hefner of Canada. Now, continuing here in this thread, Michael Jackson, George Bush, Robert De Niro. Isn't that nice? Look, would you look at that? Huh. This is just absolutely tragic and disgusting. Bill Gates, close friend of Jeffrey Epstein, also has a home in the Bahamas and is friends with Nygaard. Richard Branson was partying with Nexium on his island, but Nygaard, but knows Nygaard well too. Yes, exactly. Oh, look at them all hanging out together. Nygaard, 50th anniversary. Unbelievable. Nygaard with Bill Gates. Nygaard with... Alex Dillard, uh, Phil Meyer, uh, Phil Miller, and Ted Rogers with Nygaard, Nygaard with Rita Cosby, and Richard Branson with Peter Nygaard. And just look how gross he is. Oprah promoted both John of God, who ran a baby farming operation and art his own daughter at age nine, and 500 plus women and children. She also promoted Peter Nygaard. Now I'll probably get hit with a copyright strike. But I do want to bring this up just to, oh, the videos have been taken down. No surprise there. Eyewitness account of Nygaard's alleged crimes. Private jet had a stripper pole, of course. Oh, gross. Absolutely disgusting. Here are the court documents for the New York case. Uh, Jane Doe's 1 through 10. That will be, this whole thread will be linked in the video description so you can um, look at that yourself. Nygaard kept a database of potential victims that was maintained by the Nygaard Company's Corporate Information Technology Department on the corporate server, mostly maintained in the United States. By the mid-2000s, this database was confirmed to have contained information on over 7,500 underage girls and women. So it was essentially a database of underage Victims. Peter Nygaard yelling at his employees. I bet that video has been removed. Yep, it has. There is also an active criminal investigation in the Bahamas into Peter Nygaard. You know, what's interesting about him is that he was trying to harvest stem cells from black women because he thought it could make him immortal. Isn't that weird? Isn't that wild? I mean, honestly, you, you know, you cannot make this stuff up. 
So I will include the links to all of this in the video description. Let me know what you guys think of Peter Nygaard. Um, do you think that there will be justice in this story? Do you believe that Nygaard is guilty of the crimes that he is alleged to have committed? Do you think that there is a connection between Peter Nygaard, Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Gates, and others like Richard Branson, who may have engaged in similar activity, including Prince Andrew, Kevin Spacey, but seemingly were all being protected? Um, also, obviously, when I talk about certain things it's it is immediately demonetized by youtube if you want to support me um you can do so via cash app there's the money symbol and then radix verum to to support me that way if you would like but um also uh make sure that you go um and fall look at my liberty links which is included in the about me page on my youtube channel and you can follow me there on Telegram, uh, on Gab, on Twitter, at NotRadix on Twitter. And um, that way, in case the ch my channel gets taken down, you'll be able to find me on other platforms. I will be creating a live streaming channel on Shing where I can speak uncensored. But another good place to follow me is on Odyssey. I frequently upload videos onto Odyssey that are just not appropriate for YouTube. So if you want to get more uncensored stuff from me, check out my Odyssey channel um, and let me know if you guys would be interested in um, watching me do live streams on Shing, Shing.tv. So anyways, that is the latest with Peter Nygaard. We will be following that trial as it begins in July.